Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh. Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Harakakwadash. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father and who the world ignorantly called God. In the name of his son, Yahweh Shai, and who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ. In the name of the Holy Spirit. I would also like to give a double honors unto my apostles and elders of Great Millstone that have taught me this truth. And I would like to say a sincere shalom unto the hopeful elect that are scattered throughout the four winds of the world, unto the servants, the prophets, the men that are prophesying and laboring in this truth and in this doctrine, unto you I say shalom. Okay, this is going to be a quick lesson on a, pretty much a current event. Uh, and this is something, what was going on in France is a, is, is a trend that's taking place all throughout the world. All right, where people are, are pretty much getting fed up with their puppet governments, with their living conditions, with um, this whole transition, uh, you know, into a, a cashless society where, you know, Esau, this devil, is, is basically, you know, um, squeezing all your resources with inflation. People are getting fed up. And in this instance, people are kind of, or, you know, you could say they're taking matters into their own hands, all right? Because, you know, multiple positions out there or, or you know, jobs are unionized where it gives them, you know, some sort of power. All right, even though the unions are, you know, a lot of the unions are run by, you know, the higher ups, but you can see the spirit of rebellion against their governments is 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 not necessarily their governments, but against the higher ups, the elites is 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 worldwide, it's global. All right, but you but from looking from from America looking outwards, the whole world is, you know, tired of Esau, but the damn stupid ass people here in America, you know, you guys love this devil more and more. OK, yeah, they shoot niggas down in the street left and right. All right. They, they, they arrest you. They beat you up. You see the, the, the injustices in this system and no one no one gives a shit. No one cares. Everyone's just trying to get along and get along. OK, except for the prophets, except for the ones that are signing crying for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. You know, re, you know, uh, referring to um, Ezekiel, the ninth chapter. All right, so so this is a this is going to be an ongoing thing, and, and we don't know if it's going to the economy over there in France is going to shut down. But with the with just them threatening that, all right, that that's, that should be enough right there, okay? Because everything is going to shut down, just like when the uh, pandemic happened, pretty much the whole world was shut down, you know, to a certain degree with what they call ex uh, essential needs or whatever. The everything is going to be shut down, okay? So let me read a little bit of this article and pull some precepts. And um, Lord willing, this lesson is edifying unto the elect. It says, unions vow to shut France's economy down amid pension battle. It says, roadblocked oil refineries disputed, excuse me, disrupted, planes grounded, and trains halted. Unions are threatening to shut down France's economy this week in what they hope in their toughest repost rep 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 yet to President Emmanuel Macron's plan to raise their retirement age. The first action started Monday as truckers sporadically blocked major highways, highway arteries, ar arteries and interchanges in in go in go slow action dubbed escargot, the French word for snail. Um, across across several French regions, unions planned an open end strike on national rail services starting Monday evening. The government is bracing for the biggest disruption Tuesday when strikes are expected to uh, expected across multiple sectors. Excuse me, and protesters are planned in cities across France against the retirement bill. The reform would raise the official pension age of 62 to 64 and require 43 years of work to earn a full pension is currently under debate in parliament. That's a long ass time. That's that's all your whole life. 43 years and then you get a pension. You know, say you 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 get out of you know, say you start a job at twenty, so sixty three, you you finally get a pension. That ain't, you know, that's that that just shows you the slave mentality of this system. Okay, you 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 use the damn near all your life you've been working for these devils, and then they get then they give you a pension. All right, this is it's no end. Uh, 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 you know, this devil is is it's no end. You know, uh, um, this devil has no um. This, this devil has had show is not going to show you no mercy at the end of the day. So, you know, you you Jakes, man, y'all better get get your mind right and get out of this system, man, spiritually. Leave Babylon spiritually before you can be destroyed with this place. Trying to trying to hold on to your goddamn pension or trying to hold on to 
anything in this place. Okay, because that's what's going to happen. Eventually, they're going to say, you know, hey, if you want your pension, if you want your SSI or whatever benefits you get that, 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 that you know, ties you to this place, you're going to have to take this man's M-A-R-K. All right. Everything is, is, is moving to that. Okay. I'm pretty sure, even though, um, you know, this is not on the table, but I'm pretty sure if they told people that they can keep the retirement age of 62, if they took that M-A-R-K, they would do it. All right. But hey, that's this devil. This devil is 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 this devil's on a whole nother level of wickedness. That's what you Jakes have to realize. They they're not gonna play fair. All right. You you're not gonna see these things coming. They're gonna hit you at all of a sudden, and then you're gonna be put on the spot to make a decision. All right, um, let me go down, let's scroll down. Um uh it says there will be a very strong impact from strikes, transport minister Cle Clement uh uh Benu said. Uh, on regional broadcaster France 3 on Sunday, I know that for many people it will be a real headache. Labor Minister Oliver Destort, uh, speaking on the France Info News broadcaster on Monday, said expressing disagreement is legitimate, yet it must not lead to blocking the country, which will be a day which will be dangerous for our economy. So these economies are 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 you know already dwindling. These economies are. You know, it's only a matter of time for something big happens, like the crash of the dollar, a war. Something big is going to happen to to push everything into overdrive. All right, and you're going to see this is going to be a a, a trend among throughout the world. All right, you already see uprisings. You just don't, you know you just don't you don't hear about them in the news because these these devils they control the media. They don't want to make these things public because when they do, it it, it people people worry. All right, they want people to you know they want people to you know, feel safe. They want people to not worry and they want you, they want to give you this, um, this, give you this illusion that everything is all right. All right. When, 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 the, when, when you basically, you in a burning building. All right. But this devil wants to, you know, give you the, like I said, give you the illusion that everything's going to be all right. Everything is not all right. Everything, things are getting worse and worse day by day. All right. And like I said, these people are taking matters into their own hands. They're like, fuck it, man. We got to do something or, 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 you know, we got to, we have to do something, or they're just going to continue to 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 rule over us with with rigor, and 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 um, and and just do what the hell they want. All right. Um, authorities encourage people to work from home on Tuesday if possible. Let me see. Um, so you get the point, man. The, the 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 whole point is in the damn title that they're threatening to shut down the economy through strikes. All right, and these are just jobs that are unionized. It said you know through the airports. Uh, just pretty much transportation, uh, 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 um, you know, teachers, people that, you know, basically have government jobs, city jobs that that are unionized. They're going to be the ones that, that are going to potentially strike. OK, so like I said, this is a this is a global trend where you're going to have uprising of the people because the people are fed up. All right. And, and and and, you know, they're fed up with their public governments. They're fed up with their public leaders. All right. And these are these are signs. These are tokens excuse me of the end all right these these type of things you know they happen sporadically but these things are happening weekly week in and week out you hear of an uprising here an uprising here all right people are rising up against the government a possible coup and it's it's just it's always it's always something all right you know going on in the world because we're living in the last days we're living in the days of prophecy is being fulfilled. This is uh, the book of Second Ezra, chapter nine, verse one. He answered me then and said, "Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou see the part of the signs past, which I told thee before, and those signs represent the prophecies." Okay, it says, "Measure the times." All right, when you see these prophecies come to pass, understand that this is not a regular time that we're living in. All right, when you continue to see uprisings, all right, people uh, re rebelling against their governments. All right. You know, talking about overthrowing their governments. You're talking about in here in America, they're talking about uh, uh, states departing from, you know, the United States. All right. Um, all right. Uh, verse two, then shall thou understand that is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world. And this is nothing more than a, another uproar of the people. All right. People are in uproar. Because of, you know, that in this instance, you know, them raising the uh, the age of retirement or receive your yeah, age of retirement two years. 
Okay, so you have to work to 64 to get a full pension. All right, so it, it, it's, it's numerous things like this. It's like a snowball effect of conditions, of events that's going to just make these people say F it. Okay, um, then thou shalt well understand the most high spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. So all these things were prophesied from the beginning. All right, in every economy, in every society, all right, where, where they had a fall, where they had a great downfall, you had these things. You had economic, you had economic turmoil. You had a, um, a, a, a race riot. You had fighting within the people. You had fighting within the government. All right, backstabbing uh, uh, within the government. Okay, you 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 had all these calamities uh, uh, amongst this, you know, amongst whatever rulership it was. And this the rulership of Esau. You're going to have this globally because this devil pretty much rules the world right now. All right, he has. Um, you know, he has all these puppet leaders set up, you know, through, of course, America, Central and South America, uh, 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 um, you know, all throughout Europe, uh, uh, certain parts of Africa, you know, uh, certain parts of the Middle East where this devil is ruling, where he has government set up, where, where he basically, you know, manipulates the people and manipulate the minds of the people. Okay, that's what it really, really boils down to. But people are sobering up. All right. It's, and, and they're waking up to the bullshit of this devil. All right. And they're 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 realizing a lot of these 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 um these heathens that that have basically taken money from this, this devil they're realizing that it's that that it's a raw deal that they they got they got jerked out they've been getting jerked the whole time during this deal they 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 they've pushed into the number of democracy they pushed um, homosexuality they pushed all these philosophies of the devil into their people and they're seeing the end result where their people are even you know worse off you know. Are becoming worse off with all the philosophies uh, of America that that are um, that are pushed, all right, you know, globally. Okay, let's look at the people. Look at the uh, the people in Iran, all right. And you know, they 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 don't want their women to grow up as hoes and and twerking and sluts like you know the majority of these women in America. Okay, being all independent and and, and talking back and just just all just out of order. All right, that's what America promotes. All right, that that's what you know the the uh, uh, this devil wants you know the, the world to just be out of order. All right, just 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 you know just 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 full this wicked. All right, pretty much. All right, this is the book of Second Ezra chapter fifteen, and I'm going to start at verse fourteen. Woe to the world and them that dwell in, for the sword of the destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands, and. There shall be sedition among men invading one another, and they shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. People taking matters into their own hands. All right, so if you figure the, if the economy shuts down over in France and say the French government says, you know, forget it, you know, let it shut down, what, what do you think is going to take place? All right, if no one's working in these stores, if no one's uh, at these jobs, people are going to take matters in their own hands and they're going to do it on another level. Where they're going to be running into stores, they're going to be running into you know looting. Uh, 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 they're going, people are going to be doing whatever the hell they want to do. All right, and then they're going to bring have to bring in some type of form of uh, order through the military. But when this happens, it's, it's not going to just be uh, 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 it's not going to be just going on in Europe. It's going to be happening globally. All right, where where the whole world is going to be a lot on 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 some form, form some form of lockdown, some form of martial law. Okay, but the the main. <laughs> The main, the main place where it's going to take place is here in America, all right. It, it, and it's going to be, it's going to be ten times, a thousand times worse than the than the rest of the world, all right. Because the, the this is the place where the, the most wickedness takes place. This is spiritually Sodom in Egypt, okay. This is is modern day Sodom and Gomorrah. This is modern day Nineveh. This is the, this is all those wicked, uh, um, the, um, wicked, wicked, uh, 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 you know, civilizations. Wicked rulerships all in one here in America. So, so yeah, they're going to have, um, you know, people fighting against the government here in other, these other countries. They're going to have um, sedition in these other countries, of course. But when it takes place here in America, Babylon the Great is going to be on a whole nother level. It's going to be a lot of bloodshed. It's going to be, it ain't just going to be, you know, uh, um, you know, um, you know, no, 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 no peaceful protests and none of that shit. It's going to be, it's going to be people fighting and people dying in the streets. All right, um, this is verse uh, 17. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. For because of their of their pride, the city shall be troubled, their houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. And they're already 
on a on a small level blocking off you know certain highways out there all right but when the military blocks them off when uh that, that's when you're going to know it's, it's on a whole different other level okay so it, it, it's just this is you know who knows that the, the, the government may out there may you know comply and, and, and you know come to a, a agreement to you know not um not hire the uh not make the um retirement uh, uh age higher who knows but this is something that's going to be a, a ongoing thing throughout the world all right because if it ain't if they if they agree on that it's going to be something else that the uh, people disagree with okay uh this is uh the book of second Ezra, chapter six and verse 22 suddenly shall the so, suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown, and the full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. Yeah, if it's not no people working, people going to work, these storehouses, they're eventually going to be found empty. All right, you're not going to, be, not going to have people to work there. All right, and, and you're not going to have people to drive the trucks to bring in these supplies. Okay, so it, it, this is a, like I said, this is a, excuse me, this may be on a small scale, but eventually this is going to be on a large scale where it's going to have an, a, a lasting impact. On, on on whatever country you're living in. If you don't got no truckers bringing in goods, if the trains is not going, all right, the food that you have in your grocery store or, or the food in your house, that's all you're going to have. That's, you know, the, the, and these people don't, a lot of people don't grow their own crops or grow their own food, okay? Especially here in America, these niggas is living in, in, in the city where they, they, ain't, they ain't seen a field, all right? They don't, they wouldn't know how to, um, you know, uh, 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 plant, plant, plant vegetables or fruit or whatever, okay? Um, let me see. Uh, like I said, people are waking up, and, and these governments, these these uh these these governments, even you know um down to the you know the local the uh the state officials, everyone's being divided. All right, everyone's pr pretty much picking a side. Okay, this is um the book of Matthew chapter. Excuse me. Yeah, no, excuse me. Mark chapter three. And um, I'm going to start at verse um, 20, 23. And he called them unto him and said unto them in parables, How can Satan cast out Satan? If a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. And if a house be divided against itself, that house cannot stand. And if Satan rise up against himself and be divided, he cannot stand but hath an end. And we're clearly seeing the end of this devil's kingdom because they're divided. All right, not just America. But America's clearly divided, all right. But but these other countries, they're divided, all right. Look, think about what's going on over there in, in 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 Europe, all right. Some people are you know secretly siding with Russia. Some people are still you know on the Ukraine side, all right. So th a lot of people are divided. A lot of these countries, they don't want to send aid to Ukraine. They don't want to fight this proxy war for America, even though they're a part of the NATO and the EU, all right. But hey, some of them are, and eventually. You know, a some some I I you know I see some of these countries departing from the NATO, departing from the EU, just because they don't want to be a part of this war. They want to a lot of these countries. They want to stay status quo. They don't want to you know um, they don't want to you know have to get into a war. All right, because what 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 war does is is it's going to be a lot of casualties. All right, war it it, it you know. People think it you know a lot of these countries they're trying to get their economies uh, uh kind of you know back going you know and, and that's gonna you know be a uh it's gonna it's gonna hurt a lot of their economy because they got to put all their resources into war all right you know so you know you're gonna see it, it's it's a it's a great divide you know all throughout the world all right with with a lot of these without with, with a lot of these leaders with a lot of these governments where um like these heathens are waking up to you know the bullshit of esau they 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 they've taken on these deals with this devil and and now they they're like i said they're seeing that you know this deal that they may may have taken on with this devil a long time ago is is not it, it never was in the best interest for them it never was never was in their best interest so you know I just want to make this quick um you know and just bring out some precepts and just you know it's, hey you know sh show you that hey shit is not you know things is th things is things is starting to heat up man and Lord willing they hey they shut this shit down they shut their economy down Lord willing they go on strike. For, for for months, the Lord willing that they, the the uh, the government doesn't agree to any of their terms and they stay on strike. So you know we'll see. You know, but you're going to see incidents like this continue to play out. All right, all throughout the world, and and this is prophecy. All right, it's, so Lord willing, this lesson was edifying unto the elect, and I would like to give all praise, glory, and honor 
unto Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Harakakodash. Until next time, I say shalom.